see what I'm doing here. I think that's good stuff. I'm gonna try putting it all the way over here. Maybe you can still see what I'm doing. Alrighty then. So, what happens with this stuff is, first of all, dirt sticks to it, which makes it kind of look like the dirty underside of a vehicle, which is fine with me, but the other thing is that it hardens up over time so that it won't drip. Somebody said something about using motorcycle chain oil the other day. Well, that's awesome. This is awesomer because it will not drip at all. So, I got all this part done here, all the way up under, back in here, did all this part with the brake lines, and brushed it up before. I'm gonna refresh my can, we'll spray some more. <clears throat> Yowzer, we're making progress. I uh, like it. Likes it going. Almost done with this one, I believe. Okay, let's take a look at what we did. Uh, I don't know how much you can tell about it, but everything is covered with that black stuff. Uh, I squirted it up inside the fender panels. I've actually got one rough spot on this truck and I kind of looked around and found where water could be inside that fender and I squirted it all up in there. Now when I change these tires, I'll also do everything behind the wheel here. Uh, I sprayed brake lines because they rust and emergency brake lines and brake fittings Obviously, I wouldn't want to spray brake shoes and I didn't But I did spray everything that I could get to My one rusty spot and I'm not counting these surface rust spots is right here And I was able to get up in behind there and spray that stuff in there and spray it out here at some point I'll fix that but I certainly don't want that rust to grow 